Damian Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I am with a living icon. I am with the one and only Sven Gulli, who you can see on MeTV's Sven Gulli's Halloween Bonanza running all through October. I am so excited to talk to you. Thank you so much for coming in. Am I a living legend or an undead legend? You might be an unliving legend. Yes. <laughs> well, close enough. Yes, That's there you good. go. So I, you are... Excuse me, where'd that come from? Yes, this is, yes. This is a little foul. Um, <laughs> so... This is so great to see you coming back. It's been like you've been doing this almost 11 years with me TV. I, th I think it's more than that. Yeah. And this is it's so it's so evocative because so many of us grew up in whatever city we were in. We mm -hmm. had that that TV sure. host. Um, what initially drew you to the that genre, that whole idea of like taking a little fun jab at these horror movies? Actually, it goes back to the original Sven Gulli in Chicago. Jerry G. Bishop was a radio and TV guy that I was a big fan of. Mm. And he just happened to be, when they had live staff announcers at TV stations, he was the staff announcer on duty on Friday nights when they'd run horror movies. Mm. And he did the little announcements going in and out of it or whatever. And they were supposed to be just straight, you know, dry copy. And he started writing jokes about it and making it all into like a fun character and it eventually became his Sven Gulli character that showed up you know on video clips in between mm -hmm. parts of the movie and I was just a fan of his and I you know he was reading jokes and things that people had sent in so I started sending him jokes and material and he actually liked what I was doing a lot he found out I was a broadcasting student and he said well why don't you come down to the station and join us and before long I was working with him I was doing off-camera voices writing specific bits for him and eventually down the line we were working in radio together, mm -hmm. and he was approached by a local TV station that uh, he had been canceled as far as Fenguli for a few years. And they said, do you want to just do it for the summer? And he was like, no, I don't want to get into all that. And turns to me and says, but you could do it. You could be son of Fenguli. <laughs> And the fact that he had, you know, the confidence in me that I'd be able to pull it off was, you know, the huge compliment. And that's that's how I first started getting into it. We had false starts with it. Mm -hmm. Never got anywhere then. He ended up going to San Diego to work. And uh, all the people I'd been working with went to the West Coast. And I was still in Chicago. And he said, what are you going to do next? And I said, well, maybe I'll try to pitch somebody on a TV show. He said, I tell you what, if you want to try to do the Son of Sven Gulli thing, you have my blessing. Wow. Yeah, that, very generous. Yeah. And that's, that's where it all so came from. So he truly was a Svengali. He was a Svengali of a Svengali, yes. I love this. And, and also, this is for some of you that would not know this. This was back when TV had three channels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so now, when you think about it, that was such an analog approach to television. Mm -hmm, and definitely. now we're in this world of streaming. We're in this world of like where antenna TV has come back. Everything old is new again. Yeah. And MeTV has, has become this incredible platform for us to go back and kind of relive our youth and just enjoy the simplicity of a, a, a wise cracking TV host. Yeah, uh, you know, Me TV, the ME really stands for memorable entertainment. Mm. And it's uh, almost, people brought it up as comfort food yeah. TV. And I think that's very true. And I think something that's gotten lost along the way, as far as even local broadcasting, is, you know, entertainment type shows. Because right. most TV stations will put all their money into news and public affairs and sports, and they don't try to do something like like we've done right. and when people see this that brings back some pleasant memories for them and maybe create some new ones and with the people who have never seen this kind of thing and you've got great horror movies these yeah. are like classic gems i mean you just added trilogy of terror which yeah oh my god and you've had it do you have a favorite horror movie one that you'd really love to give a special to or something i'd love to get some of those American international films. Like, I was a teenage werewolf oh, and I was a teenage yes. Frankenstein. Supposedly the story is that the widow of one of the producers has the rights to it mm -hmm. and that she will not let anybody use them because she didn't like what Mystery Science Theater did with them. Oh, okay. But our boss is working to see if he can contact her and maybe tell her, you know, watch the show and see that we're respectful to stuff. We have fun with it, but it's not like we're going to be tearing it apart. So cross your fingers. Right. Maybe we'll end up with that. And here at Comic Con, you have set up a booth. You have a, this whole incredible activation with me TV, um, where you are searching for the spawn of Spengali. Yes. And what would that job entail? Well, it, it's not necessarily a job at this point. <laughs> we talked about the fact that I really influenced a lot of our viewers, and a lot of them feel that you know they, they could be a part of our, as we put it, Sven universe. Mm. So we decided, you know, to, to have these auditions. They could show us 
what they can do, how they think they would fit in with our show, and we'll, we'll see what happens. It's, it's kind of a fun idea, and uh, it gives everybody a chance. You know, if you ever thought you could pull something like this off, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? I love this. And then how do you celebrate Halloween? I stay at home and don't answer the door. <laughs> That's probably for the best, because you don't want to out-scare the kids in costume. Well, it's not even that. It's just if I go and answer the door, people go, you know who lives there? And mm, after yes. a while, we've got a long line as we've had here at yes. uh, Comic-Con. <laughs> Comic <laughs> and I could spend the rest of my life signing things, and I don't have that many Milky Ways to give out either. There you go. All right. Well, listen, thank you so much. Thank you for the years of entertainment oh, and thanks. fun horror movies and great memories. And you guys do not miss Fenghuli's Halloween Bonanza on MeTV. Thank you so much. Thank you. Should I throw a chicken at you Please to finish do. it up? No, I couldn't do that. <laughs>